Technology in the modern era isn't something we all love. So from the loneliest house in the world and another in the middle of the river to monks who lived up high in the mountains and houses that went invisible, here are 15 homes of people who hate the outside world. Casa Brutale. Two Greek architects have created a striking house design called Casa Brutale that perfectly complements the powerful modern architecture style known as brutalism. They've embedded their luxury brutalist home into a sea cliff, creating a severe yet inviting structure with terrifying and beautiful views. They envisioned the house design as a poetic homage to pure brutalism. The rooftop pool and underground walls help insulate the cliff house and keep it cool. Drina River House Ever got so fed up with everyone around you that you thought you should live in a faraway cabin? Well, you can't really do that, but some folks in 1968 succeeded in making one. We have no idea what annoyed them so much about humans that they decided to build a small cabin on a rock in the middle of a river. Even though they didn't live there forever, the cabin still stands there as a reminder. The house has also experienced repeated flooding from the Drina River, which almost destroyed it multiple times. However, it was rebuilt completely each time. San Columbano Hermitage the San Columbano Hermitage was first constructed in 1319. It's named after an Irish saint who's said to have lived there after defeating the dragon that used to inhabit the cave. To accommodate pilgrims and monks, a small church was built at the entrance of one of the small caves. The hermitage is located high up on a rock face and can be reached by 102 steps carved into the rock, leading to a path across the river gorge below. It was continuously used until 1782 and was later maintained by local residents of the valley. A Monastery in the Sky You might have heard of religious people isolating themselves to be closer to God, right? But this one monk took isolation to the next level. Maxime Quavtaradze had spent the last 20 years living in a cottage on a 131-foot tall rock that stood above his monastery in Georgia. He lived his life in almost complete solitude for most years of his life. It was such an isolated place that the only means of accessing the home was by ladder, something that took 20 minutes in each direction. He very rarely allowed visitors to climb the pillar, and those that did were required to spend a number of days praying before they could come back. Wordy House Wordy House, located on Winter Island in Antarctica, is one of the most isolated buildings on Earth. It was originally established as base during World War II by the British. Today, it's known as Wordy House, named after James Wordy. The house can accommodate up to five people and features a kitchen, a bunk room, and a wooden stove for warmth. Nowadays, you can visit and stay at Wordy House, providing a unique opportunity to experience how people used to live there. The kitchen still contains coffee and potato cans, the old radio equipment remains in place, and instructions for basic fire prevention methods are posted by the entrance. The Invisible House The Invisible House, constructed in 2019 by film producers Chris and Roberta Hanley, is a surreal desert structure that flaunts its abundance, has attracted celebrities and more. Demi Lovato even saw aliens there. It's a surreal box-like structure with glinting glass walls that reflect the desert landscape and a massive 100-foot indoor pool that stretches nearly half the length of the house. And for those who are wondering, the house is available for rent for $150,000 per month, $6,000 per day, or $1,000 per hour. The Hill in Front Completed in 2021 by HW Studio, this primitive house named The Hill in Front of the Glen in Morelia preserves the rough atmosphere of the mountains that surrounds it in its design. The low-slung building is partially dug into the ground, lending it its name. The home structure is made from concrete, which was left exposed in the interiors. The living spaces are organized beneath the long structural vault, which defines the interiors and helps the building integrate into the landscape. According to HW Studio, the vault is evocative of protection and shelter and recalls the childhood sensation of snuggling beneath a blanket. World's Loneliest House a few years ago, photos of a small white house on a distant island became popular online and sparked curious theories. People called it the loneliest house in the world and thought it was a dream home for introverts. The house is found on Islade Island, south of Iceland. Some said a rich person built it to survive a zombie apocalypse, while others thought it was fake. But it's actually very real and owned by the Elide Hunting Association and serves as a cabin and sauna for hunting puffins. The island used to have more people, but they moved to busier places over time. 
Loneliest Cabin If you've got a head for heights, this could be the perfect spot for you. High above the clouds at a Washington mountain range stands a wooden hut offering spectacular panoramic views below. The Three Fingers Lookout Hut, situated on top of the North Cascades mountain range, is the perfect place for adventurers looking to get memorable views. If they can get up there, that is. Because it's situated right on a cliff edge, the hut is reached by a series of narrow wooden ladders, making it a challenge for anybody without a head for heights. Stonehouse Some families use caravans or tents for their holiday homes, while others choose big RVs. Then there are those who see rocks and think, now that'd be nice to make a home out of. That's the story of Casa do Pinedo in northern Portugal. In 1972, vacationers wanted a different kind of getaway, so they built a house that looked like something from the Flintstones town. It was in the countryside, made of rocks with a roof, windows, a door, and a chimney. Inside the rock house didn't have electricity, but it had wooden furniture and a huge 550-pound couch made from a eucalyptus tree. Casa do Pinedo is a great place to escape the modern world. Mirrored Cabin these new mirrored cabins on a Tennessee mountaintop are something every one of us would want to go and spend some time in. As there's no more immersive way to enjoy a mountaintop other than sitting in a mirrored cabin and feeling like you're a part of nature, the cabin's mirrored glass facades seamlessly immerse guests in the gorgeous scenery while ensuring complete privacy since you can't see inside the cabins. As nature has this magical way of melting away stress, so it was indeed worth the hard work of anchoring these mirrored structures atop giant rock faces and next to waterfalls. Juniper House The Juniper House in Sweden's Gotland is built in an area filled with juniper trees. Instead of placing a house in the middle of this spot, the designers decided to try something different. They covered the house with a fabric shield that had images of the surrounding trees, making it blend in like a mirror. This not only shields the house from the outside, but also creates an immersive experience inside where you feel surrounded by the trees. The house can be opened up to connect the indoors and outdoors, allowing you to enjoy the long summer days in this beautiful part of the world. Crystal Mill If you really don't like people, then living in the Crystal Mill in Colorado might be just what you're looking for. It's so difficult to reach that people have to sign a waiver just to take a nice picture there. The Crystal Mill used to be a power plant called the Sheep Mountain Powerhouse, which was built in 1892. It provided ventilation for mines in the area and powered pneumatic tools. Now it's abandoned, but it's a great place for someone who wants to be as isolated as possible. Considering the difficult path, if you don't mind carrying one bag of groceries at a time, then this old mill would be perfect for your inner hermit. Long Studio this modern structure is raised above the ground on stilts, creating a feeling of hovering over the landscape. It's made from local materials like rough sawn pine on the outside and whitewashed spruce on the inside. The building's divided into three parts, an entrance porch, a courtyard, and a studio or living space. It was inspired by the houses of local fishermen. The long studio is self-sustaining using solar panels for power and its own waste treatment facilities. Designed by Norwegian architects from Saunders Architecture, it's a prototype that they plan to replicate in other locations across Canada, similar to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault in Norway. Salve Hut The Salve Hut, situated on the northeastern ridge of Switzerland's Matterhorn Mountain, is the highest mountain hut owned by the Swiss Alpine Club. It sits at a whopping 13,133 feet above sea level. The club has several huts in the mountains that provide shelter and food to those in need, but the Solve Hut is the most secluded and is meant for emergencies only. It underwent a full reconstruction in 1966, but didn't have an emergency phone until 1976. This hut truly sits on top of the world, just 1,500 feet away from the summit of the Matterhorn. Just room enough. This tiny island called Just Room Enough Island is literally just room enough for a house, nothing more. It's part of the Thousand Islands chain in New York's St. Lawrence River. The Sizeland family bought it in the 50s for their private getaway. They squeezed their house to the edge, added a bench next to a tree, and that's all the space they got. The house still stands, powered by its own generator, but here's the catch. It attracted tourists and made the river busier. Some argue it's more like a houseboat than an island, 
Different places have different island definitions, but it's definitely unique. Fire Lookout Lots of people dream about fancy cars, a huge house, and a luxurious lifestyle with the rich folks. But this couple from Dallas went a completely different route. Instead of that scene, they built themselves a 40-foot-tall fire lookout home in the middle of a forest. They call it the tree house without the tree since it's not actually on a tree but in a 160-acre meadow in rural Oregon. They wanted a fresh start, so they constructed this unique 380-square-foot one-bedroom home. It used to be their weekend getaway, but they loved it so much they decided to live there permanently. Clingstone Mansion this awesome house was built in 1905 on a little rocky island near Jamestown, Rhode Island. Locals call it the House on a Rock because, well, it's literally perched on a rock. It's a huge three-story cottage with 23 rooms covering a whopping 10,000 square feet. Pretty cool, huh? Back in the day, a Boston architect named Henry Wood bought it for just $3,600 in back taxes. He fixed it up over time and now you can rent it for a week for $8,000. It's got 10 bedrooms and is one of the most famous rentals around. Tiger's Nest. You have to climb for about two hours from the already high valley floor, which is 7,000 feet above sea level, to reach the temple called Tiger's Nest that sits 3,000 feet higher at 10,000 feet above sea level. Legend says a Zen master meditated there in the eighth century after arriving on a flying tiger. The only way up is by stone steps carved into the cliff face. Locals, even moms with babies, handle them fine. The monastery appears and disappears in the mist as you hike up the steep, well-kept trail. It's been isolated for centuries with a deep gorge below. Bell Rock On the edge of England, there's a strong pillar called Bishop Rock Lighthouse. It protects sailors from dangers as they approach. Built in the 1800s, it marked a treacherous rock ledge, the most dangerous spot at that time, Shipwrecks caused it to be built. One wreck in 1707 killed 1,550 people, the worst crash in British Isles history. Bishop Rock itself was hit twice, leading to the lighthouse's construction. It's now known as the King of Lighthouses. Today, it guides sailors and doubles as a small hotel for history buffs seeking isolation. It holds world records as the smallest inhabited island with a building. The Most Isolated Village with technology taking over, this modern era can be stressful for those who feel like they can't disconnect. But if you want to escape people in the digital age, the village of Lokomir is the place to go. Just avoid going there in the winter unless you're ready to ski your way in. Lokomir is an ancient village that sits at about 5,000 feet above sea level, around 30 miles from Sarajevo. It's considered the most isolated village in Herzegovina, Bosnia. If you're not a fan of city life's hustle and bustle, this village is perfect. It hasn't changed much over the past 300 years. Halley Research Station The Halley Research Station is a cool place in Antarctica where scientists study space, weather, and the air around us. It sits on the Brunt Ice Shelf and can move around on skis if needed. It's pretty lonely there, with no other forms of life except for some brave emperor penguins who battle the freezing cold and strong winds. The station's been around for a while and helped us discover the hole in the ozone layer in 1985. These scientists collect data and even measure the ice shelf itself, but they had to move once because a big crack almost cut them off from the rest of the ice shelf. NOLA THE CABIN on a tiny island called Velisari, just off the coast of Helsinki, there's this cool wooden cabin called Nola. It was designed by the designer named Robin Falk. They named it Nola because it means zero in Finnish. This cabin's all about being eco-friendly and doesn't produce any emissions. It's made from sustainable materials like local pine and plywood. Nola's like a small bedroom with an A-frame design and a big glass window in the front so you can see everything around you. It's not fancy or modern, but it's all about being self-sufficient and living in harmony with nature, following the Nordic tradition. Doomsday Bunker This private home in Vegas is a real hidden gem. From the street, you'd never guess that it's actually 26 feet underground. It's a super cool underground house built during the Cold War era, with over 15,000 square feet of luxurious space. The owners wanted it to feel like a regular house, so they installed a lighting system that can mimic sunlight and twinkling stars. The owner's wife built a townhouse on top after he passed away in 1983. 
both the underground bunker and the house above it are on sale for $18 million. Miami Castle Check out this mansion in Miami, Florida. It's up for grabs at a cool $10.9 million. This Gothic-style house is huge, perfect for a single family. Inside, you'll find a whopping 10,000 square feet of living space, complete with eight bedrooms and bathrooms. The whole place is symmetrical with two concrete courtyards on each end and gazebos that match the property's width. It's situated on 14 acres surrounded by a private lake and royal gardens. Sometimes life gets tough and you just need to escape from it all and have your own space, and sometimes that space needs to be filled with water. Safe House The Safe House is a two-story home on the outskirts of Warsaw, Poland. It's all about keeping you safe and secure. The coolest part of the design is the movable walls. They can close up tight to block out the world or open up to let in the beautiful countryside. The house itself is about 6,100 square feet with two floors and a swimming pool next door. The walls create a safe area that includes the front yard, keeping kids away from the street. And don't worry, everything moves with the help of electronic engines. The house blends in with the rural landscape using cement boards and wood. The Hanging Temple the Hanging Temple is exactly what it claims to be. Temples built right into a cliff, giving off the vibe that they're hanging there. It was actually constructed over 1,500 years ago and held securely in place by oak cross beams tucked inside the cliffs. Being in such a place, the temple is surprisingly still in perfect condition. It managed to stay that way because it was shielded from rain, erosion, sunlight, and other environmental factors. And imagine this, living there means being far away from all the noise and hassle of the world no more road rage or people bugging you about some quick fix diet. You can just do whatever you want, my friend. Meteora This rock formation in central Greece is an impressive home to a large complex of Eastern Orthodox monasteries, making it one of the biggest in the world. When you look at the landscape of Meteora, it resembles artwork from a fantasy or superhero movie. But it's not fictional. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. For those who live there, it's incredibly peaceful because it's far away from the rest of the world. Some people consider it their own version of heaven. In the past, there used to be 24 monasteries in Meteora, which would have made it less serene. However, since monks lived there, it probably didn't affect the tranquility much. It would have been the quietest place with the highest population. Lost to the Sands Back in the early 20th century, this place was quite rich, especially for diamond hunters trying to strike it big. However, by the early 1950s, all the diamonds had been found and the town rapidly declined. It was completely abandoned by 1956. Interestingly, the town is now named after Johnny Coleman, the driver who accidentally found the place, and a guy who didn't really do much. No one knows why it's named after him. Maybe he was a famous transport driver. World's Remotest Island If you ever need a good excuse to skip a family vacation, how about telling your mom that you're stuck on a remote island with a seven-day boat ride back? And it's this British outpost in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean. There's no airport or proper harbor, so the only way in or out is on one of the nine boats that come each year. Once you're there, you can't leave for a whole month. Might sound crazy, but for some people, it's like paradise. The island has a volcano, a small hospital, roads, a pub, a rundown golf course, chickens, and not much else. Around 270 people live there, covering a 38 square mile area. Mount Hua, China Would you dare to take the road to heaven? Most of us would immediately say no because it sounds like a quick way to death, and it probably is. But in reality, it's just a path that takes you to the peak of Mount Hua Shan in China where there's a charming little tea house. To reach the tea house, you have to climb rickety stairs and navigate paths made of planks and rocks with the constant feeling that death is lurking nearby. That's why it's considered one of the most dangerous paths in the world. But here's the twist. The tea house isn't really a tea house. It's actually a Taoist temple where visitors like to sit, meditate, and enjoy a cup of tea. Hobbit House if, just like me, you're also a fan of hobbits, then this is the place you would want to live at. Inspired by J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, the three characterful properties named the Charm Inn, Quackers, and Wabbit have all been individually designed to mimic the fantastical hobbit homes in the much-loved trilogy. Offering a magical escape, each hobbit has circular wooden doorways 
modern interiors, fully fitted kitchens, open plan living quarters, bedrooms, and a gorgeous outside space for alfresco entertaining.